What is up guys? Andrew with No Excuses TV here. Today we're going to talk about what just might be your next go-to light for backpacking. So today we're going to talk about, well first off we're going to talk about my shadows, but other than that. Today we're going to talk about the new BioLite Sunlight that came out that they kind of put out. It is uh, very intriguing. I'm kind of excited about it. I'm probably going to get one, order it real quick, hopefully get it in the beginning of March. They've already sold out the first run, the first shipment, um, before I even kind of had a chance to turn around and see what they did. So when I was looking at it, it is a really small, it's about 3.4 ounces, we'll go over specs in a minute. Um, but it is a light that you can take in the backcountry, it's waterproof, it is pretty small um but it, it was fit about the size of your palm of your hand and which is which is neat which is one thing to think about um but it's also like i said waterproof and it's solar that's the kicker it's solar powered you can charge it usb wise um but the features are really kind of unique they're kind of small I, I, the light that i use a lot is a um goal zero like i think it's a 250 lantern can't remember if it's 250 or 400 they don't make the 200 the 250 any more lumen now they've gone up to the 400 lumen which is about 70 bucks i think i had the 400 but anyway so we're going to look at the specs real quick against shadows we're going to look at the specs real quick um compare the two and see kind of which one that may be beneficial for you what you may like and not like about them and what i think are some of the drawbacks and benefits of the new sunlight so first off let's talk about the go zero lighthouse mini so it comes out with 210 lumens Runtime between four hours to 500 plus hours, depending on what setting you have. It has two charging availabilities. You have USB, takes about four hours, and you also have solar, but it's not included. You have to get the extra solar gear from Go Zero, and it's about four to six hours. Uh, it has a power output, which is unique, uh, which I really liked about it because you can charge your phone and stuff. Uh, weighs about eight ounces and is about 50 bucks. We're looking about the um, Go Zero Lighthouse Mini. Comparably, Let's look at the BioLite Sunlight. So it comes out not as bright, about 100 lumen. Run time between, if it's on high, about three hours. If it's on low, runs about 50 hours. Uh, the two charging times for USB, it's about two hours, which is you know, it's half of what the charge time of the lighthouse is, but again, it's half the power. Um, solar is about seven hours. That's if it's in probably pretty good sunlight the entire time. Um, one unique thing that I liked about it is it has, and I, they've used this feature on other stuff that's solar, is it has a kind of like an analog sundial that allows you to make sure that you're getting the most direct amount of sunlight on that, um, those solar panels. So it, it helps you charge faster, uh, put in better sunlight, which is, I, I really like that. It's pretty neat. Um, one thing that it doesn't have that the lighthouse is that power output, which Depending on what you're doing, you may already have a source of power output for your phone. You may not even take your phone to the backcountry, but I do. I like my phone. I like the GPS. I like all that information. I like having that available to me. And I would love to see that rechargeability from this BioLite Sunlight. They say that the um, solar panels that they're using weren't designed to create that much power to where you could charge the devices like that. They point you to something else. It's a smaller light. Um, but has that power output capabilities if you want to do stuff like that. But I really, I think that'd be neat to have. I understand not having the right solar panels, but one thing to think about kind of moving forward. Um, weight wise, it's over half the weight of the mini or lighthouse mini. It's 3.4 ounces, priced about the half, about half two, about 24.95 right now on on their website. And if you get four or more, the price drops like 10 bucks. So that may be something also because you, because you can. You can't really have a play to like tie them together yet, um, but you can obviously use them together walking around, um, put them on your backpack. They have a bunch of different lighting modes. They have regular white light that you can dim up and down. They have a red light for like seeing at night. Um, and they have a party mode which kind of cycles through the different light colors, which is neat, but I don't, I really don't know why. Like I, That's a big wolf for, for me. That's a, a why. I'm trying to keep the shadows down. Um, but other than that, I, I think it's going to be a pretty neat uh, lamp pretty neat way to light your tent or your path or lets people spot you or anything like that it's really cool um that being said um will i leave my lighthouse mini i don't know i really like having the um, ability to have such a bright light it is heavier it gets annoying sometimes and that power output but if i find another power output 
if I find some other way that's a little smaller, that's easier to keep my power output without having a light, there is no way that I'm gonna pass up a chance to use that bio light sunlight. So we will get that ordered probably pretty soon, get that in, test it out, see exactly what it's all, um, what all the bells and whistles are, and then get back to you with a good review. So if you like this video, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to do these weekly. I, I missed last week, but I did two the week before. So technically, I'm about one a week. Um, during the summer, we'll really ramp it up, have a more than uh, one video a week. Um, but really excited about the stuff we're coming out with. I'm going to get a better light system so I don't have shadows the entire time. Uh, hopefully that comes sooner than the uh, bio light sunlight. But anyway, if you have used the sunlight, if you um, have any comments, questions, comment below, anything you'd like to see us talk about, anything like review or air test and stuff like that, please let us know in the comments down below. Again, I've said it before, but I say again, smash the like button, click subscribe. You don't want to miss the content that we're coming out with, and we'll see you next time.